Have you ever wondered how a three-pound mass of grey matter controls your every thought, action, memory, and feeling? This marvel is none other than the human brain. It's an enigma, a puzzle that scientists and researchers have been trying to solve for ages. The brain, which makes up about 2% of a person's total body weight, is the command center for the human nervous system. It's a supercomputer that runs the show, responsible for what we think, what we remember, how we move and how we feel. Its structure is complex, composed of about 100 billion neurons, each connected to thousands of others, creating an intricate network of communication pathways. This network is the key to our thoughts, emotions, memories and perceptions. This intricate organ holds the power of the human mind, an entity that's been a mystery for centuries. The journey of the brain starts long before we're born, as early as three weeks into gestation. This is when the neural tube, the precursor to the brain and spinal cord, begins to form. It's a fascinating process, a dance of cells and chemicals that ultimately gives rise to one of the most complex structures in the universe, the human brain. The neural tube starts as a flat sheet of cells that rolls up into a hollow tube. The top of this tube will eventually become the brain, while the rest develops into the spinal cord. This forms the basic structure of the central nervous system. As gestation continues, the brain begins to take shape. The cells in the neural tube start to divide and multiply at an astonishing rate, eventually giving rise to billions of neurons, the building blocks of the brain. This period of rapid growth is known as neurogenesis, but the brain is more than just a mass of neurons. It's the connections between these cells, known as synapses, that make the magic happen. Even before birth, these connections start to form as neurons reach out to each other, creating the intricate web of neural circuits that will underpin everything we think, feel and do. This process is guided by both genetics and environment. Our genes provide the basic blueprint, but it's the experiences and stimuli we encounter, even in the womb, that help shape these connections. By the end of gestation, the brain has undergone a remarkable transformation. From a simple tube of cells, it has developed into a highly organized structure, complete with specialized areas for different functions. And here's a mind-blowing fact. By the time of birth, nearly all the neurons the brain will have are present. That's right. The brain you're born with contains virtually all the neurons you'll ever have. But that's just the start. The real journey begins after birth, as the brain continues to learn and adapt, forming new connections and refining old ones throughout our lives. By the time of birth, nearly all the neurons the brain will have are present, marking the start of a lifelong journey of learning and adapting. From birth onwards, the brain goes through an incredible metamorphosis. In the earliest stages of our lives, two fascinating processes occur that shape our brains and our abilities, myelination and synaptic pruning. Let's delve a bit deeper into these processes to understand how they mold our brain's development and function. Myelination is the wrapping of nerve fibers with a fatty substance called myelin. This fatty coat acts like insulation on an electrical wire, ensuring signals move quickly and efficiently between brain cells. Picture it like upgrading from a dial-up connection to high-speed broadband. This process begins at birth and continues into our 20s turning our brains into super-efficient communication networks. It's a critical process that supports everything from movement to thought. Then we have synaptic pruning, the brain's very own Marie Kondo act. It's about making space, decluttering, and getting rid of what we don't need. During the early years, our brains produce a surplus of synapses, the connections between neurons, but not all of these connections are useful or necessary. So the brain prunes away the excess, keeping only the most efficient and frequently used synapses. This process is largely influenced by our experiences and interactions with the world around us. Childhood experiences and learning play a significant role in these processes. Each new experience, every piece of information learned, strengthens some synapses while others are pruned away. The phrase, use it or lose it, couldn't be more apartment. This is why early childhood is such a critical period for learning and development. The experiences we have, the skills we practice, and the knowledge we acquire during this time can shape our brains and abilities for the rest of our lives. As we grow, our brains continuously reshape, reflecting our experiences and forming the basis of our individuality. As we journey through life, these ever-changing neural pathways become the physical embodiment of our memories, our skills, our thoughts, and ultimately who we are as individuals. 
When we reach adulthood, our brains are fully developed, right? Not quite. Let's take a moment to dispel this popular myth. Even when we reach our prime years, our brain continues to change and adapt. This ability is known as neuroplasticity, the brain's remarkable capacity to reorganize pathways, create new connections, and in some cases even create new neurons. Neuroplasticity is the brain's way of adjusting to new experiences, learning and recovering from injuries. Our adult brain plays a crucial role in learning and memory. Each time we learn something new, our brain changes. New connections are made and old ones are strengthened or weakened. This is how we form and retain memories. So the next time you're grappling with a new language or mastering a musical instrument, remember you're not just learning, you're reshaping your brain. Emotions too are the brain's domain. The amygdala, an almond-shaped structure in the brain, is the hub of our emotional responses. It's responsible for our fight or flight response and plays a key role in fear and anxiety. Our ability to understand and regulate our emotions is a testament to the brain's adaptability. But what's the secret to maintaining a healthy and robust brain throughout adulthood? It's simpler than you might think. Regular physical exercise, a balanced diet, sufficient sleep and mental stimulation all contribute to our brain's health and longevity. Remember, a healthy brain is a happy brain, and let's not forget the importance of social connections. Our brains are wired to connect with others. Social interaction enhances cognitive functioning and helps keep our brains sharp. Even though the brain may be fully grown, it never stops learning, adapting and changing. It's a continuous journey of growth and adaptation, a testament to the remarkable capabilities of the human brain. So keep learning, keep challenging yourself, and remember your brain is your most powerful asset. And as we age, so does our brain, but what does this mean for its function? Just as our physical strength decreases with age, our brain experiences a similar journey. The brain's size and weight shrink and the cerebral cortex, the outermost layer responsible for thinking and processing information, slowly degenerates. This shrinkage is accompanied by a slowness in function, leading to delayed responses and reduced processing speed. But don't let this paint a gloomy picture. It's true that aging can make learning new things a bit more challenging or remembering names and dates a tad more elusive. However, it doesn't necessarily mean a decline in intelligence or creativity. In fact, older brains can often compile and synthesize information from decades of knowledge and experiences, resulting in unique insights. In the face of these changes, two factors play a crucial role in maintaining brain health, mental stimulation and a healthy lifestyle. Engaging in brain-stimulating activities like puzzles, reading, writing or learning a new language can create new neural pathways and strengthen existing ones, helping to slow cognitive decline. Similarly, a healthy lifestyle encompassing balanced nutrition, regular exercise and good sleep can significantly contribute to brain health and resilience. Unfortunately, aging also increases the risk of brain-related diseases. Conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and stroke become more common as we age. These are complex diseases influenced by genetic, environmental and lifestyle factors. Research is ongoing to understand them better and find effective treatments. So the golden years of life need not be a period of cognitive decline. While it's true that aging brings changes, these changes don't necessarily mean our brains become less efficient or less capable. We can take steps to keep our brains sharp and vibrant. While aging may bring challenges, a healthy lifestyle and continuous mental stimulation can help keep our brains sharp and vibrant. The human brain, a marvel of nature, embarks on an incredible journey throughout our lives. From its humble beginnings as a tiny neural tube in the womb, it expands and evolves into the most complex organ in our body. It guides us through early childhood, brimming with curiosity and boundless potential, into the tumultuous world of adolescence where it undergoes profound changes. As adults, our brains are powerhouses of thought, emotion and creativity, enabling us to solve problems, create art and build relationships. As we age, our brains may slow down a bit, but they continue to adapt and learn, proving that it's never too late to acquire new knowledge. Unraveling the mysteries of this remarkable organ not only enhances our understanding of ourselves but also underscores the importance of nurturing our brains throughout our lives. So next time you learn something new, remember, it's your extraordinary brain ever-changing and adapting that makes it all possible.